I just said to you, and just uh, before we start, just want to talk about my journey to yoga. I met a lot of people in my journey since I did yoga training with Swamiji and became the, he made me the international yoga teacher. And I was lucky to give him that responsibility. And, and one of the person I met was Kalpana Ji, she's from London as well. And she used to sell these well, occupation ring. That was in her leaflet like this. I had all the detail on it. Such a simple tool, but very effective in promoting health. Just a piece of a ring, that's all it is. What did you do? Very easy to use, relieve pain, boost energy flow. If you have any joint, it is stiff, relaxes it, improve blood circulation. All you have to do is gently massage and stimulate your, all your fingers in the thing. Occupation ring is a small yet powerful tool that can stimulate all the meridium, energy channel in your fingertips. When energy lines are balanced, energy is flowing freely in the body and that gives a state of good health. By using the massage ring correctly on your finger and toes, it can produce a beneficial effect over the entire body. Mani, do you mind uh, starting to go? My dog, I think, wants to go out. I think he wants to go use the toilet. I think I'm not sure. He's, he's just scratching the door. So if you give me give me five minutes if you if you can take over just now for me. Do do just do Bastika, whatever you want to do for five minutes, doesn't matter if you don't mind. I need to go out. Take you. <coughs> Come on. Hello everybody and Merry Christmas. Start <coughs> we'll do with Om Tri Kara. Three times, sorry. So we sit in a Gyan Mudra on your knee, your back straight, and we just <clears throat> chant Om for three times. Uh, oh. uh. Just rub your hands. <clears throat> you know the energy, <clears throat> put it over your eyes. Open your eyes. <clears throat> Feel all the energy all over your eyes. Eyebrows, your forehead, your face, your head, <clears throat> your neck, behind your ears. Feel all the energy <clears throat> and the rest of the body. <clears throat> we do Basika for one minute and then we do some Test ex well, <clears throat> lung exercise if Sarvanji is not back. So, <clears throat> again, in Gyan Mudra, do two and a half seconds to breathe in and two and a half seconds to breathe out with the Khichri Mudra. Tip of your tongue is touching the roof of your mouth and you concentrate on the third eye.
Thank you, Manidi. Can, can you go now? Yeah, Adam, yeah. You. Okay. <laughs> so, so okay. what happened this morning? Dog had the food, but never did the toilet. It took him out, but never did anything. And suddenly, when I start the class, he started scratching the door like he wanted to go out. Yeah. That's what I'm sorry. I don't Thank know you very much. Three times, sir, and you're right. I know. I that's know. right. <laughs> Thank you for holding <laughs> the food. Oh. Okay. So, I was talking about the occupation ring. And what the teacher sell that with what she told me also was so all you have to do is roll the ring up and down your finger and thumbs can be used also on your toes as well. Do this few times till you feel warm or about 30 to 60 seconds for best result twice a day to improve your health. Fatigue, insomnia, breathing problem, shoulder pain, arm, chest, liver high blood pressure, head, eyes, kidney, arthritis, and for blood pressure and so on. As I will talk to you before as well, fingers which are able to balance the energy in our body, which is very important both for our emotional and physical health. Each finger represents two organs, emotions, and your symptoms that may occur in the body, by stimulating those fingers, you can affect several states that may be occurring to you, both physically and psychologically. Thumb connects to your organ, stomach, and your spleen. Emotions are anxiety and depression. Physical symptoms are Digestive stew and headaches. So all you have to do is take a ring and rub over the thumb like this across it. Or if you don't have the ring, just use the two finger and rub across like that. Sarvanti, can you highlight yourself so everybody? Oh, can sorry. See? Yeah. I think I'm. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm not in the area. <laughs> no, I'm. So you can rub your finger like this. That will control your anxiety, depression, and prevention of stomach problem. Both, both them. And the symptom of digestive issue, headache will go away. Very good to release anxiety. Next is your index finger, which controls your kidney and bladder. That's when your emotions are fear, confusion, and depression. Physical symptoms are back pain and toothache. Just by rubbing this, you can elevate that or get rid of it. Next is your middle finger, which contains your liver and gallbladder. Emotions are anger. Whenever you're angry, you damage your liver. And physical symptoms are mental fatigue, mental pain, migraine, and problem with circulation. So just rubbing the index finger, both hands, it will help to activate that. And next you got the ring finger, master finger, which controls your lung and large intestine, and emotional sadness. Whenever you're sad, whenever something happens, somebody passes away close to your family, affects your liver. So, so just pray, uh, affects your lung, sorry. And that's why, that's where the thymus gland is. Whenever somebody dies, you tap it, so you tap your, you put your, you tap middle of a thymus gland. That's what affects your lung. And the ring and the little finger is your pinky, which is the heart and small intestine. That happens due to self lack of self-confidence. Physical symptoms are sore throat, heart disease, problem, and bones. So just by you doing this, you're improving your heart health as well. So that's just just so I'll, I'll show you how simple things we promote to promote health. Everything helps you to promote health. Now let's sit back now and do the bit of yoga. Today is Christmas, so we're all in the Christmas spirit. Enjoy it. So let's just sit back shoulder. Remember, 
I just said to my Facebook as well and my communication in media one that if you have diabetes or high blood pressure or any health issue, doctor prescribes you medicine to take. Just because it's a festival day, you don't stop taking it. You take it every day. Even when you go on a holiday, you take the medicine. Same way, think of yoga as part of a, medi medica a, a medication which you have to do daily, regardless of whatever the issues are. But in the whole day, you have to find time to do that for half an hour, one hour, whatever you can. So let's start the session. We'll do that for short period. Gyan Mudra, shoulder back, head up, and we make a ticket. Sound of first, we have to wake up all the chakras and make the body active to get the maximum benefit of pranayama. So sitting Gyan Mudra, shoulder back up, head up, eyes closed. We take a deep breath and chant A, O, M. Mm. The whole sign put together sound like a OM. It's a universal sign. It gives you prana, energy, activates the vagus nerve, creates more nitric oxide. It's got a lot of benefit. Let's sit in the Gyan Mudra and take a deep breath in. Uh, Still keeping eyes closed, take your both half and the air, rub them together. Rub it for at least 20 times to generate enough heat between the palm of your hand. And then using the heat you have generated between the palm of your hand, make a cup and cover your eye facing. Feel the heat. Open your eyes between the closed palm of your hand. Gently massage over your forehead, around your eyes, either side of your nose, your cheek, and the V-shape around your e-boat ear, and back of the head, neck, your shoulders, arms, your body, and the leg. Excellent. This keeps the body in active state to give you the maximum benefit of as I said, for body to be healthy, your posture needs to be right, shoulders need to stick forward, and your spine needs to be straight. We tend to sit more like crouching than sitting down, especially at our age. You're eating and when you're watching TV or sitting down, you're sitting like crouching, but make sure you're sitting always straight, very important. So for that, we'll do certain exercise to correct your posture. First, for the shoulder, if you put your hand like this, tighten your hand together. And you're engaging the shoulder as you breathe in first. As you breathe out, go forward, engaging the shoulder and hold it for five to 10 seconds. If you can, it's good. If you can't, doesn't matter. Just breathe in the other out as well, if you can do that either. And come back, breathing in. And for last time. Excellent. Next is you put Namaste. And you, what you're doing, right hand, put a pressure on the left hand, and left hand, put a pressure on right hand. So when you put the press, take a deep breath in, hold it for five to 10 seconds, keeping the pressure on, and then breathe out. Once more. Excellent. Next, keeping the pressure on, as you breathe in, you go up, when you breathe out, you come down.
And for last thing, <laughs> excellent. Now make a tight press and turn them. Remember all these exercise, you deep breathing as well. Breathing in and Excellent. Now do the opposite. Excellent. Next, breathe in and breathe out. Excellent. If hands are tired, just shake them up. No problem. Just get, get some movement going across. No problem. Next, you want to open your arms up. You breathe in and do the scissor action, breathing out. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Eight, nine, ten. Next, very good for you. one part of arm, just go. And do the reverse. Next. Next one, you definitely put your pull hand behind your back. And do the device. Excellent. Next, you touch the finger at the back and do that breathing out. Excellent. All these exercises, you correct your posture and prevention of frozen shoulder, especially people with diabetes, neuro problem, and also winter time, you tend to have more frozen shoulder because of cold weather. So put your both hands forward now, do the exercise. Like it's very good for finger for arthritis as well. There are a lot of different benefits, all these exercises. Breathing in and out. Excellent. Next one, you put your thumb in the middle and tight with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Excellent. Now both hands together and turn the circle. And relax. Do the opposite. If you smile, you get double the benefit. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. Now put your both knuckles together. Tight. As you breathe in, as you breathe out, you go forward without opening the knuckle. And for last time, 
Eh? Now keeping your hand there, breathe in and breathe out. Then keeping your hand there, turn sideways. Then keeping your hand there, touch the front like that, and you go up and come down, be like that. Excellent. Now we do the reverse. Very good for frozen shoulder. Prevention. Prevention is better than cure. We are, we are working on a system, not on a symptom. Aka this ka sab purja acha kam karega. To bimari khudi dur bhagyaagi. Excellent. Next, you interlock your finger. You can it back up, breathe in. And you breathe out, keeping your head up behind the head. Trying to hold it for a few seconds. Then come back up. Excellent. Next, interlock your finger. Very good to make your neck muscle stronger. Prevent some spondylitis. Put it back in the head. Take a deep breath in. Holding your breath with the head pressure on the hand and hand on the pressure and hold it for 10 seconds. Whatever you can. And relax. Excellent. Once more. Still keeping the interlock your finger, doing your forehead. Give us more. Then the right hand. Again. And then the left hand. Excellent. And then just massage your knee like this. Yes. And do the reverse. Next, we make the neck muscle stronger. You do the neck exercise. Do it, listen to your body again. Don't force yourself. Do it gently. Pretend down as you breathe out. When you go up, you breathe in. And breathe out. Breathe in. Excellent. Now we make the head go like a pendulum sideways. Breathe in again. You breathe out. You look up there. Hold it for a few seconds. And come back, breathing in. And breathe out.
Exhale. Next, you're going to breathe in. As you breathe out, look behind your back. And hold there for a few seconds. And come back, breathing in. And breathe out. Excellent. Now we'll take the head around the circle. Be careful, not too fast, not to just find your own pace nice and gently. Clockwise. And relax. Now do the reverse. Excellent. Well done. So you managed to correct a lot of things. Now we're going to do some. Uh, one is the eagle pose, but not the part of the eagle pose. You go both your both hands forward, or you can, and then take your right hand straight up, left hand bend down like what you're trying to twist. You wrap your left hand around the right hand. And look up and do Kapalvati for 10 seconds. Excellent. Now do the same thing with the left hand, right hand, right. Excellent. Next is the Gomukhasan, part of the Gomukhasan, because you're working on upper part. Put your right hand up, bend. And left hand push it far back as you can and take your left hand behind your back and try to grab the right hand and look up and do kapal bharti for 10 seconds. <laughs> Excellent. Now do the same thing with opposite hand, left hand goes back. Right hand push back as you can. Right hand. This is a bit harder for me as well. I can't hold. At least I can try to make it look like that. Look up, do kapava. And relax. One of the simplest one also is that put namaste behind your back, up the way if you can, then do less one behind your very to that and do Kapal Bharti for 30 seconds this time. And relax. I can guarantee. If you do these exercises daily, doesn't matter what kind of problem, health issue you have, neuro problem, diabetes, or whatever, cold weather, you never get for the shoulder. Even if you have it, if you do, do the exercise, it will overcome, it will fix it as well. Plays a very important part. Next one, you're going to work on the spine now. Plays a very important part. So stretch your hand like this, take it all the way back up to the top. Your hand should be touching the ear. Fully stretch, just stretching your spine, focusing on your spine, do Kapal Bharti for 30 seconds.
excellent. You'll be sitting with something, you just, you just stretch your legs up, open your leg up, open them up, just shake them up, improve your circulation, just get them right. And then take your right leg over the left leg, right leg over the left leg, right hand goes behind the body, as close to you as possible, that'll make the spine straight. The left hand comes up like that. And if you twist around the left, right side, you're exercising all the organs on the left side, using your heart, your left lung, your spleen, and so on. Also, you're twisting your spine as well, just stretching the spine. Same thing with the opposite leg. Again, keep your leg straight. Take your left leg over the right leg. Left hand close to your body. Right hand comes up like this, twisting towards the left side. They're exercising everything on the right side of the body. Is in your right lung, liver, gallbladder, and so on. Also, you're twisting your spine. hand the front, take your right hand behind your back and left hand over the shoulder and twist around to the right side, hold it for a few seconds. Very good for your spine as well. Then come back, breathing in and do the opposite. And the last round. Excellent. Next, rather than bending from your waistline, I want to use your hip, make the hip stronger. So put your both hands like this. Using your hip, you go back, you breathe in, and you bend down from your hip. What you do, you tighten your butt, and you go down from the hip down the way, and then come back up, breathing in. Excellent. Now, same thing, we're going to do a side way using your hip, make the hip stronger. Breathe in and breathe. Also, some of you can do it also put your hand there. So you can support yourself and use the other hand to go back. It's far back, further down. It's stretching your side of the muscle completely. Excellent. And come back up. Do the opposite thing support here. Excellent. Next, you push around sideways. Next, you're going to pivot from your head again. Put your hand there. Tight 
tighten your butt and use your butt to turn right in your pelvis and your pelvis muscle. And do the anti opposite. And relax. This might be a good time also to do a Sunni Mudra. A lot of males tend to have a prostate problem, and females have also a uterus fibrosis, and also due to the childbirth, the muscle becomes weaker. So every time you sneeze and cough, it gets wet. So you need to kind of make the muscle stronger. So all you have to do, you want to do 30 times, pull your back, pass it up, and release it. Just sitting there, you can do that anytime, anywhere. Breathe in and you go up, pull your back, pass it up, mulavara, hold it for a few seconds, and release it. Hold it for whatever you can, and release it. And for last thing, do that daily. I guarantee you, within short period, your muscle will become stronger and, and you'll have better control of your, your bladder and everything else as well. Excellent. So we've done all that now. Now we're going to do the, some acupressure, very important, plays an important part in promoting health. The lot of meridium, energy channel. So first you're going to tap the chest, that's the L1. Very important part of the lung meridian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Next, we're going to make a cup because all the energy channels come through your finger, including your lymphatic system. Sorry. Also affects your, your thyroid gland, your heart, your spleen, thyroid gland, your liver, all the, everything, sinus, everything exercise. You put a cup like carpet, one. And all everything passes through the arm. Keep your hand there. One. Last thing. Excellent. I love part of acupressure. Rub your hands together. Trying to generate enough heat. And then you open your finger, clap them. One, two, one, two. For the lung and also the every part of the body, one of the best exercise is that you know what to do. Open your lung and give me a big laughter. Ah, 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 
And another way to do it, if you have knee pain, anywhere at all, rub your hands together. Your hand got power to heal itself. So you rub your hand, wherever the pain is, on the skin, not on the clothes. You just put it on the, you have to, you have to release your the skin, put it on the skin, and that will take the pain away as well. It's a simple thing. Your body is designed to heal itself. Very important. So use your hands, your body, the, you know, acupressure, mudra, all these helps to kind of, help to balance your body better than anything else. So we've done that. Now we're going to, using mudra, we're going to divert the prana to different parts of the lung to exercise the bottom part and the top part because most people with respiratory disease, asthma, bronchitis, and also due to cold weather, a lot of people can't expand the whole of the lung in one go. So we do in the bottom section and the top section. First setting in the gyan mudra, upside down in chin mudra, that sends prana to the bottom section of the lung. And holding the Khichri Mudra, we do Bastrika for 30 seconds. Still keeping the chin mudra. Now we do kapal bhati for 30 seconds. Focusing on the bottom section. What your mind thinks, body delivers. Excellent. So you managed to expand the bottom section. Now we're going to focus on the top section and your airways. For this, we use the Adhimam Mudra. Open your palm of your hand, put the thumb in the middle, and make a tight fist. That sends a prana to the top section for lung and help to expand that. First, we do Bhatrika for 30 seconds. Focusing on your top part of the lung. Excellent. Now still keeping the Adi Mudra, focusing on the top section of the lung, we do Kapal Bharti for 30 seconds. Excellent. So you managed to expand the bottom section and the top section as well. And all these exercises we're doing in mind to make the lung, lung increase the lung capacity, correct your posture, correct your spine. All these will help to elevate all the health issues you have. Very important. Next, now before we do the exercise to expand your lung. Your both hands for stretch your leg in the front if you can, or sit in the sukhasan, padmasan, anywhere you want, or sitting in the chair. Put your hand forward as you breathe in, open your lungs, look at the ceiling, and be like. मुस्कुराते रहिए मुस्कुराने से आपको डबल फायदा होगा हम लोग भारतीय लोग हैं वी वांट लिटिल एफर्ट मैक्सिमम बेनिफिट एक्सेलेंट वेल डन नाउ पुट योर बोथ हैंड देयर एज यू गो बैक यू ब्रीद इन व्हेन यू गो फॉरवर्ड यू ब्रीद आउट Excellent.
takes the last, not the least, make it tight first. The whole thing is you go up, you open your palm of your hand, and then turn right, make a fist, and come down. That will accelerate all the gases. That's it. the way you do it, very important. So make a fist. One. Listen to body. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Twenty, excellent. Take a couple of deep breath. Next, we're going to do some vigorous exercise to activate the vagus nerve. Very important. That will release, the, make all the organs, even your lung, into parasympathetic nerve system. So it will reduce stress, so it can function properly optimize his health. For this, you have to create like a Hermanji belt. You have to do a face exercise. And this is very good to make your face young as well, bright and nice. Make whole blow your hand like Hermanji belt. Aap lo sab kitne sundar lag rahe hain. Gaal kula ke. Lagta hai gusta gusta kar rahe hain. I'm watching all of you. Having a fun and relax. Once more. And relax. Next, ek the pula ke, dusi the big na. Excellent. Glass ko mein tiyan sunshine, sun nikal ne laga. Dupa, dupa aagya. Now, make you, uh, no, in England mein pani pada, I know, that's what we we'll do. Next, you suck your lips, make your lips like a O. And you take breathe in, your cheek goes in, and then breathe out, your cheek goes out. Excellent. Next, you, next you suck your, your lips and cheek everything inside. Excellent. Once more. Excellent. Next, we will do some uh, tongue exercise, which is very important to activate the vagus nerve, good for healing problem, sinus problem, everything, and also thyroid problem, sleep apnea, snoring, everything will go away just by doing this. Take it. First, we're going to stretch your tongue by stretch, taking your tongue out and touch your nose with it and hold it for 10 seconds. Is your tongue not big enough or nose not big enough? <laughs> don't, 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 I'm just kidding. Don't. Just try. Keep doing it. You, you stretch your tongue muscle. Make your back of the tongue muscle stronger. Excellent. Now, take your tongue out and show it right, left, right, left like this. Rumah ya, but tongue nikal nahi raha. Bhot chota apka. So bahar nikalna padega. I know, I'm kidding you. Sorry, I'm just sorry. Excellent. Next, you take your tongue out, hold it for five to ten seconds, and come back in. Jiska tongue bhot bada hota hai, wo log banmas hote hain. So that's a sign of naughty boys and girls. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding you. I like to make some fun in between, you know. When I do light classes, we always have a lot of, a lot of laughter. And relax. Next one is very good for also for double chin as well. Take your chin up 
and take a tongue out and take out. And relax. You hold it for five to ten seconds. I want more. Excellent. Do the same thing opposite now. Everything for prevention. Prevention is better than cure. You got teaching you to how to fall in love with yourself. You know how to love others. You've forgotten how to love yourself. Excellent. This is all the time. Now, other one now is the, the one you all really all enjoy. Bring back the childhood to you. Make a, like a perpetual, take a deep breath in. My family to bite on Halia. It all soaked with the hell. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Once more. <clears throat> Excellent. If you got napkin or something, just clean up. Clean the mess up. Sorry. That's a, that's a very good exercise. Jack. Now we're going to get up all the toxins from your face through the lymphatic fluid. It sits on the surface of the skin. So you don't have to go very deep. Use your thumb to rub over gently through your forehead. Everything five to 10 times. And then run the eye, eye side. And then you put like finger like this around the nose. And then put your finger like this, right the side of here. And then run the cheek. Take everything up to the top. And then from here, everything goes behind the ear. And back of the neck, back of the ear, and from back of the ear, down the neck, into the drainage channel with the middle of our chest. Excellent. So you managed to remove all the lymph, all the toxin from your face as well. That will make your face bright. More blood flow will flow through your, uh, your face and make your face more, you don't have to put makeup on, your face will become nice and bright automatically. And you get a double chin, hearing problem, sinus problem, everything will go away just by doing this, what you've done so far on the face exercise. Now, for, now we go into the first pranayama of Bastrika to get the maximum benefit of pranayama. So sitting in Gyan Mudra, which increase your memory power, focus and concentrate, and do a Khichri Mudra, that will make the expand the even breath deeper. So more chance of relaxation, more chance of expanding your lung, and also meditate on third eye or the governor rest at this point, or your follow breath for, third, for two to three in the sitting Gyan Mudra. So, but one thing for pranayama is very important, Bastrika. When you put your hand on your stomach and heart, when you breathe in, your stomach should go out further than your chest. When you breathe out, your stomach goes in. What happens is to expand the lung, you need a space. So diaphragm needs to go down. For that to happen, your stomach needs to come out. That's why when you breathe in, your stomach should come out. When you breathe out, your stomach goes in, presses the diaphragm up, compresses the lung, to exhale out all the gases. That's the whole process. And make sure for a healthy person, your breathing out will be slightly longer than breathing in. Because when the carbon dioxide or gases are coming out, you don't want to stop the process and breathe back the bad gases back in again. So you have to complete the cycle. Very important. So that's why usually when I'm doing it, I chant the mantra of Om Namah Shivaya. Om is two vowels, two. Namah is one, and Shivaya is three. So two, one, three. It's like a that kind of sequence. Follow me. So you breathe in, hold, and breathe out longer. Breathe in, 
hold and be that longer. That's the whole process of Bastrika to give you the maximum benefit of oxygenated blood. It's so the Indian Mudra, back state, let's do that for two or three minutes. Together, putting face also energizes the whole body. Body ko fit taka de ta, uja de ta. Jo thakan hai, do apit de ka thakan dur ho jata hai. Massaging all of your hand, shoulder, and you think excellent. Next, very important. Bastrika is one of the best way to get rid of anxiety. How do you do that? You have the body and the mind. 
either get frightened, what happened to your breath? Breath will... <sighs> so there's a connection between body and the mind. Either get frightened, your breath changes. So breath is the bridge between your body and mind. And the breath is the main vehicle for prana to enter your body. What is prana? Universal energy. It's all around us. That's what keeps the body active. If we don't have prana, then Swami Ji bolte na, Ram Nam Sati hai, Murda Bada Mast hai. So really, you need prana to keep the body active. Very important. So really, and it plays a very important part. So that's why Bastika is very good to release anxiety as well. So whenever you stress, anger, just take a silent deep breathing and your body, your, your stress, your emotions, anger, fear, anxiety, they all will come down. Plays a very important part, part on the thing. So, so that's one way. Second, day, whenever you have anxiety, you, you breathe in and you go, you go through your mouth. So what we're going to do is breathe in, breathe out through your mouth, holding a straw, twice the length of breathing in. That will be able to expand the lung also and able to release anxiety as well. And for last time, next, next one is the thymus gland, which is very good to reduce your anxiety, also increase your immunity as well. That's why in India, we have a lot of chati tokte. Chati tokte say it will release your anxiety. So that middle of the chest is your thymus gland. So put your four finger there, you can tap it, or keep your finger there and do kapal bhati for. 30 seconds, that will energize the thymus gland. Excellent. Next one is very important. Three times you take a deep breath, and four times you breathe in and cough loudly for three to four times. That has three benefits. One is to remove any mucus from your lung, any fluid. So you're breathing, you're to get rid of any fluid from your lung. Second is also clear any plaque deposit in your artery on daily basis, prevention of heart attack and stroke. So sitting in Yan Mudra, take three deep breaths and breathe in. Excellent. Next one, you breathe in and cough loudly for three to four times. You do that twice. <coughs> and stay down for ten, five to ten seconds. Again, once more. <coughs> Excellent. Well done. Last but least, Obviously, winter is upon us. A lot of people catch the flu, cold, and now we're catching COVID-19 as well. Very important, nitric oxide. I can guarantee if you do that, even if you catch COVID-19, you won't have much of a symptom. By humming sign, you create a nitric oxide in your nasal passage by more than 30%. That's able to kill any virus. They use that for CPOD, lung infection, nitric oxide in your hospital, make with oxygen. Also, they use that for mouth cancer. Also, they give it to babies when they have a young baby, premature baby when it's born with a lung infection, you know, lung, lung you know, developed. They use nitric oxide with oxygen mix to make them that. So let's, let's uh, take your glasses off, take your palm of your hand to cover your earlobe, and put your tongue against the teeth, take a deep breath and chant five times bumblebee sign and try to vibrate in nasal passage. And 
for last thing? Mm. Excellent. Next, it's good. Nike go say it's just like a, when you when you child, remember you put the straw in the soap water, you blow it, the bubble comes up, and after a few seconds it bursts. That's how nitric oxide is. So no point having nitric oxide if it's not in circulation. You have to make it circulate around your blood vessel. By certain exercise, that will happen. That will dilate the blood vessel, reduce your blood pressure, makes the blood less sticky, so it won't form a plaque. Also helps to absorb more oxygen into your muscle, your cell, so less chance, so it gives you more stamina as well. So let's stand up, we'll do some exercise there. I think you know what you know what to do. So let's stand there. Yeah. Go. Right, excellent. Next, the dead man walk. Next is the star jump. Dead man, if nothing moves apart from behind. Next, put your both hand there, all the way up. Excellent. Well, let's just shake your body up. Only do it one today. You can practice more in time is limited. Now sit down. Every time you do any physical exercise, you create a sympathetic nerve system, you release more cortisol. So you have to sit down and for 10 seconds, gentle deep breathing to activate the past sympathetic nerve system once more. So what I want to do now is money to do the leg exercise you didn't mind, money do that for me. I'll highlight here. So stretch your legs and just give it a massage. Just loosen up your muscles. And you can just put and just lift your knee up a little bit. Just some knee exercise. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe out. And then if you just put your hand at the back, just breathe in. You just move your toes backwards and forwards. <clears throat> this is good for the arthritis, gout. When we build up our uric acid, it goes into the kidney. When kidney can't release it, it goes into your blood vessels and then goes into your joints and causing gout and arthritis. So this exercise is very good. <clears throat> now you breathe in, bring it. Bring your toes front and then back. So you breathe out. Breathe out. 
with a smile for the Christmas. <laughs> and then <clears throat> we just rotate clockwise, both legs. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. We do reverse. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. <clears throat> Always put it in out when you're doing. And just tap your heels. <clears throat> just get the move of your move in your legs, thigh muscles, your calf muscles. <clears throat> and then leg apart a little bit. <clears throat> and then do like white press. I don't know if you can see me. Right. Bring it in and out to do it. Again, it's good for your hips, everything, <coughs> and relax. <coughs> Next, we will <coughs> do the leg exercise. So you support your knee, and then you breathe in, bring it up. Now, bring up, bring in and out. Three, four, five. <coughs> then rotate. One, two, three, four, five. Reverse, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Cycling, one, two, three, four, five. Reverse, five, four, three, two, one. <coughs> Relax. We do the, exactly the opposite. You know, the leg. So up, down. As you breathe in and out. Four, five. <clears throat> Rotate clockwise. One, two, three, four, <clears throat> five. Reverse. Five, four, three, two, <clears throat> one. Cycling, one, two, three, four, five. Reverse, five, four, three, two, one. And relax. <coughs> Next, we're going to work on our hips. <coughs> so if you bring your right leg over your left thigh, support your ankle. <coughs> As you breathe in, you bring your right knee up. And you breathe out and bring it down. Again, you can put for your hip. <coughs> Again, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Last time, breathe in and breathe out. <coughs> and then and rotate our ankle. It's good for the Swelling, so it will help to reduce the swelling. It's good for the joint to mobilize it. So you do, <coughs> when you do clock anti-clockwise, <coughs> then then <coughs> pressure points to all your toes that you learned yesterday. <coughs> Always learning from Saranji, and in the front. Oh. And then we go at the side. So activate all your organs in the middle. <clears throat> and then massage it. And then tap it. And then hold like a baby and walk like a baby. We give ha 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 and relax. <laughs> we do the exactly the same with the other leg. So bring in your left leg up over your thigh, support it, and then breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, 
Breathe in. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last time. Breathe in. Breathe out. <coughs> Again, <coughs> same thing. Rotate your ankle. Do all this exercise while we're sitting down on the floor while you're watching telly. Then reverse. And all the acupressure points all along your toes. All of them at the back and in the front. Yeah. At the side. Activate all your organs in the middle. Massage it and then tap it. And then rock like a baby. Money, it's a good thing to also do the tapping from the feet all the way to, the, to your, like we did yesterday, but what, you know, uh, she done yesterday was very nice. No, no, tap it like your all your all your all your, just tap all along the, your calf muscle and your thigh. Just tap you know, Oh, I see. Eyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah. quite good to oh. relax the whole exercise you've oh. done. You're yeah. learning from each other. You know, it's like anything good practice. <laughs> we, should, we should add on to your oh, class. Magic, you, know. Yeah. you know, excellent. That's it. Exactly. Yeah. So because you use a lot of muscles, so might be paining, so that will relax the whole muscle yeah. as well. You know, just, just tap it, that's yeah. like it's just what uh, Rekha is doing this now, you can see it there. Yeah. yeah. I thought it's just, uh, it's good to learn from other, no, it you know, is good, things. yeah. This is quite a good relaxation as well, you know. I thought we'll add that one to my class. I, I, I'm going to yeah. do that, that's what I thought. So you but then. Yeah. I also massage it, uh, you know, like, uh, Baba Ram, they said, you know, you do it, Sarka. Right, you just go. Yeah, I do it every day. It's very good to do. It. Yeah, but it's nice to do it to your husband, you know, not to yourself. No, no, I, I, I <laughs> do it sometimes. <laughs> I, I'm standing up more than him. <laughs> Last yeah, you will do yeah. butterfly. I thought I've got a I'm All right, this is again good for your sciatic pain. Uh, bumping up your lymph fluid as well, and your knee and your hips. <coughs> Very good. Yeah, it's a Christmas spirit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can finish with the grinding as well, do the grinding and all that. As yeah, well. that's it. We go, we go straight again. And then we do grinding. So make sure you interlock your finger, make sure your hands are straight. As you breathe, if you go back, you breathe in, and go forward, you breathe out. So we do 10 times. You try to do a circle if you can. Five. Make six. sure you're breathing in and out, and also Seven. good for waistline as well. So you double benefit. That's right, yeah. And your digestive system. Okay. Ten. Reverse. Aapki kamar ko sundar banata hai. Kamar nahi hai. So yaar kamera ko sundar banata hai. Yaar kamera kamar ko sundar banata hai. Either what exactly. you want. I feel like a bit of a laughter today, you know. Christmas ka thoda sa hawa lag gaya. Yeah. No. And ten. <coughs> Leg apart. That's it. Leg apart. And we're going to touch the opposite toes. If you can't touch the toes, just touch your knees. So hands apart and you breathe in and then you look back. You breathe out. And then 20 times. Three. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, <coughs> and relax. Next, we do the makkhan twenty times. 
Now start from fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Ten <laughs> <And> relax. <laughs> Okay. Oh, what do you surround here? What are we doing? Sure. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I like myself. Okay. So what we're doing, we've done most of the exercise for one today. Oh, you changed your jump jumper. Oh, sorry. I, I, need to <laughs> I know. Right. Don't know. You changed your jumper. Yeah, nice. that's why I was sorry, yes. I thought I'd give you a different look. <laughs> <laughs> Snowman. The dog was biting that pom pom. So I thought I'd get rid of that before it, before it takes off my jumper, you know. <laughs> so today we did everything about the lung exercise, and we can't complete the lung exercise without Kapalvati. Kapalvati is the one actually exercises your lung fully as well. Also exercise your internal organs as well. Very important. So first, eh, what we do, Udana Mudra, put your forefinger together, put it across there. Very good to improve your thyroid gland as well. And twisting around. Excellent. As you can see, you can sit in any posture. You can sit in Sukhasan, Padmasan, or Bajrasan, where uh, you know, Rekha is sitting and all the chair, no problem. Next is Vayu Mudra. Time is limited, you're only doing with 10 seconds each. Vayu Mudra, index finger, base of thumb. That's good. It gets rid of Vayu Dosa. Very good for joint and all that. Next is the pran dosa, which increases prana in your body and very good for eyesight. Little finger and the ring finger touching together. Pran, you increase. Use the prana to detox the body. Apan mudra. Your middle and the ring finger touching together like a deer pose. Put your both hands there to get the maximum benefit. Twisting up. <laughs> Next is the liver is one of the most important organs in your body. Your energy ring finger. Yogi. Quiet. God is playing with his tools and toys again, you know. Your ring finger base of the thumb, put it there. <laughs> it keeps me alive all the time, you know, it keeps me active. It's a good company, so I can't complain. I've just got to smile at him. And put it this is energy is the liver, very important part. Liver is one of the most important organs in your body. Rest is people with low blood pressure, ling mudra, interlock your finger like this. And people with high blood pressure are prone to high blood pressure, apal vayu mudra. Vayu mudra and apal mudra, both together. That will help to balance your blood pressure.
Excellent. Take your both hands up in there. So mind you, just so you go through the process of Kapalva Harati. But usually you have to do for half an hour. If you have any serious illness. For prevention, 10 minutes. Otherwise, longer. Let's do Ujjayi. Very important for female for thyroid blood balance. You clamp your throat, put in kitchen mudra, three short ones, <laughs> and then the long one. <laughs> and then pitch and down. That helps to massage the thyroid gland for 10 seconds. Then close your right nostril, come up and breathe from left to cool it down. That's the whole process of Ujjayi. Once more. <laughs> Excellent. Usually, if you have a toilet problem, you do that seven times morning and evening to give you the benefit. Next is a very important one, Allom below. We can't finish the yoga class without Allom below. That clears the energy channel as well. It clears any blockage in your artery, prevention of heart attack and stroke. In Gyan Mudra, left hand, or yesterday they said you can do so many different mudra depending on what you want to achieve. But though I like to do in Gyan Mudra and Sunni Vayu Mudra, other hand. Like this, and you do that. We just do that for 30 seconds with time is limited. And you're doing Kichi Mudra, the breath will be deeper, the difference in temperature will be bigger, the more chance of clearing your artery. Excellent. Sorry, the time always catches up with us. And you, you all been very good. I would like Maniji to finish the class with the Brahmi with Gita and do the prayer for me, if you don't mind. Hey, Maniji, do that for me. Okay. <coughs> we do the Brahmi, so we take your glasses off. <coughs> and then close our ears with a thumb. Put it just under there. And then you put your three fingers over your eyes and your index finger just over your eyebrows between your third eye. And you do humming three times. <clears throat> Let me do a quick start. Keeping your eye closed, Gyan Mudra. Take a deep breath and Medhuvamkara three times. Oh. Just do quiet breathing. And concentrating on the third eye, would you meditate yourself? Mm 
you ready? Rub your hands together. Keep in your eyes closed. Let go of the energy. Over your eyes. Slowly, slowly open your eyes. Then rub all the energy together. Brahmane is also good for the nitric oxide, for the headache, migraine. <coughs> we do pray now. Shall I mute everybody, um, Sarman, just so everybody uh, can. Uh, yeah, yeah everybody do it anyway. That's okay. To, yeah. Together, yeah. yeah. Everybody yeah. can repeat after me. Om Save Bhavantu Sukhina. Om Sarvi Pavantu Sukhina Sarve Sarveshamaha Ramaya Ramaha Sarve Bandrani Pashantu Sarve Bandrani Pashantu Makashi Dukha Bhakave Om Shanti 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 May all be happy. May all be happy. May all be happy. May all be healthy. May all be healthy. All enjoy prosperity. May none suffer. Amen. Amen. Oh, oh, oh. 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 And I think Christmas had to call me. It can be Christmas song. When you guys anybody sing a Christmas song, be nice to give people the uh, to the line We are in we are in UK, and it's a uh, Christmas time as well. Who's going to give us a song? Christmas song. <laughs> Christmas song. Who's got a jingle there? Ah, so jingle, 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 all the way. I don't know. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's nice. <laughs> jingle, 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 all the way, all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Oh, jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride on a one-horse open sleigh. Come on, Bella, sing a song. <laughs> Dr. Kapoor looking nice with her hat on, with a flashing light. <laughs> <laughs> Shall we do the sing Hassan? Uh, let's do the sing Hassan, yes. Okay. Sound the song, Jingle Bell. Okay. 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 Play the song then. Okay. The best Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. 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 Jingle bell, jingle I went to 